Good morning, my name's Beverly Spritz and I'm the rector of St John's Parish Church, Jersey. And for our Plough Sunday service uh, today, I've come here to uh, the vegetable stall in La Rue de la Belle Air to interview Cyril Genet. Is it Genet? It's a Cyril, yes, Cyril Genet. Cyril Genet, a local farmer, and to uh, find out all about his farming experience. So, um, so Cyril, where, where do you farm? I farm actually here. Here. We've got the fields all around. We've got some cauliflowers there and Brussels sprouts, cabbage around the back, leeks around the back. Um, potatoes we dug, they were stored up. Um, uh -huh. That's where we dug that in October before the rain came. Um, but now so they're all stored up ready for the winter. Great. And that's about it really. Great. And um, on what kind of area, how many vergies is it, would you say? Well, we, well the total farm is about 32 vergies about in 32. total. It's a very small farm compared uh -huh. to a lot of other farms that are a lot bigger. But but it's a small farm but we, we used to keep before before we did the veg we used to keep a lot of pigs okay we were one of the biggest pig farmers in jersey right and then the regulations in 2001 changed the laws that we got out of farm out of pig farming because of the regulations yeah uh, how did you get into farming then cyril my father was farming before me he used to farm in st john's actually oh did he yeah he used to farm uh, i'm not sure if it was the marinelle farm actually he used to keep cows yeah and they were breeding um, breeding cows and shipping all over the world and also they used to milk us as well Right. And his father was there as well, his grandfather, and then he was in the Navy beforehand. That, before yeah. That. And then we then moved to the St. Lawrence Budia. Okay. And from there we moved back here in St. Mary's at Montpellier Farm. Yeah. And then so we, so we started up. And then these were the old pig size. Um, well, they used to have the name of the pig size. Oh, did they? The names of the pigs? Yeah, they used to have yeah. the name of the balls. Right. And there were three, three pens there, and they were yeah. like uh, Ringo, Star, and, and Pip. Okay. But the names, you can't see them now, they've been taken oh, off. Oh, they've gone off. Taken yeah, they've taken off for the frame yeah. height over the years. Yeah. But um, no, it's just mainly the veg we grow. We've been doing it since 70, um, we started farming in 76 year. Yeah. And that was more so in pigs. Uh -huh. But we always done veg, we always did main crop and cauliflowers. Yeah. And we used to do a lot of export for England. Oh, I see. But of course, all the the cost of shipping it, and it's all changed now. It's not it's not viable to ship it, but to pay your freight. The uh -huh. commissions and, and the box and, and by the time what you got back it wasn't really worth doing it you know so you're only doing it at a big scale and yeah. i just i've been doing this just to keep myself occupied yeah, really. yeah. And it, yeah. with the lockdown it, it was actually quite good for the older people yeah because they didn't need to queue up they could come here get out their car put the money in the box yeah take what they want and drive away and go and there was no worrying about getting close to anybody people and, yeah and you're out in the fresh well, air you're as well fresh air, you're you? not you're not you know you're not yeah. in, you know, not in a supermarket with other people yeah and most of the supermarkets don't buy from local they don't buy local oh okay uh, some do yeah so all, uh, and that's it's a shame really but they that's their policy yeah so, so they've got all their foods a lot of food miles whereas all this is local and well, it's, grown it's, it's just well just the food right miles here. are just about 10 yards, 10 10 yards. <laughs> well the, the cauliflower are there so it's just yeah. like Cauliflower, cabbage, purple sprouting, cauliflower, that's all the way through. Yeah. It's five to five yards from yeah. the box, in, from the box. Yeah, the, from the field into the box. Into yeah. the box, so it's not that far away. No. So. And and when did you start with the stall? What got you into doing the stall well, then? Well, it was just, well, the, well, well, we were doing it, but it's not, it was just really sort of playing around with yeah. it. It wasn't really, it was just, you know, when we had things, you know, people would you know, pay and people unfortunately don't pay and that's the way it is yeah. it's, it's, it's a trust it's what's called an honesty box yeah. and you, you well hopefully they pay the right money and yeah but it's life yeah, <laughs> you yeah. can't really do anything about so that what have been the highlights for you as a farmer so what, what do you what do you like about it or sort of special well you're actually outside and you're in the fields and yes you get the elements you get the rain last today the beautiful day yeah, gorgeous yeah it's a lovely warm it's not a really cold day if you're outside and you're working it's not cold it's, uh -huh. it's ideal yeah. But there's other days where it's miserable, it's yeah. cold, it's raining, it's windy, it's not so nice. No. But that's, that's farming. It, it's, yeah. You get the good and the bad. Yeah. And uh, it's, and I like seeing things grow. Uh -huh. I like seeing crops grow well. Yeah. Um, that's me. If, I, if it doesn't grow well, I will stop growing. Okay. Because I, that's me. I like to grow nice crops, and if it yeah. can't grow a good crop. You don't do any more. Okay. That's so, my view. That's, that's me. So you've found out what grows well here. Yeah, but this is heavy ground. It's yeah. very good for cauliflower, okay. main crop, leeks, cabbage. Yeah. It's very good for like the normal wintery crops. Yeah. Like. I mean, I'm sure farming's changed over the years. I mean, do you think it's changed for the better or worse? And, and what do you think the future is for farming in Jersey? Well, there is a future. Yeah. The, the, the problem is... It's, it's what somebody's prepared to pay for product. Yeah. And, and, and of course, the, the corona, things change. People then realise, honestly, boxes like the old days, they would actually yeah. buy 
there so of course they didn't have them before they were buying from the supermarket it's easy to go in the supermarket you buy me you want there you yeah. can buy your your fruit you can buy your grapes you can buy your peaches where you can't buy a piece of the grapes yet yeah you can't, well you can't i could probably grow grapes but it's not, <laughs> not the right grapes i'll be yeah. growing it'd be more for wine but yeah it's, yeah, it's, yeah it's one of those it's but it's, it's very difficult farming is it's hard to get in it's very expensive to get into it as well uh -huh. it's not cheap with all the equipment oh yeah yeah uh, it was attractive to harvesters and unfortunately i, I, I haven't i tend to use other people's machinery and pay them to oh, use their machine so it's okay. actually more viable for me to do that yeah than yeah so some challenges but still a future ahead of farming well there is young i mean the young unfortunately not a lot of young people in it's a problem there's not a lot of young people there's, there's yeah. a lot of older people when they go what will happen then what will happen to the farms yeah that's... there will be there will always be farming yeah be people growing, but it's, it'll be a big big scale it uh -huh. won't be small scale like myself it'll no. be a very big scale you know and maybe there's any way forward for them to do it in a big scale. Yeah, to make it work. Um, yeah. For me, it's just, I mean, you and I in sort of retirement age, so this is yeah. really playing at it now. Yeah. It's not really relying on this to make my living. If no. I did that, I, I probably would, I would stop doing it. Right. I, wouldn't, I wouldn't rather do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, um, well, thanks very much, Sir. Right. It's been well, thank really you very lovely much. to talk to you. Um, yeah. I do encourage you to come down to, uh, we're on Rue de la Belle. Rue de Belle, yeah. Yeah, if you just uh, come down from St. John, just turn, turn right. Uh, head towards St Mary, the stall's on your left uh, and there's a great selection here um, and thanks very much again. Well thank, you, thank, you, thank you for talking to me, thank you very much. Brilliant, thank you. Thank you.